Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna talk about how big is Oblivion and Utter Oblivion, which are both created by Jonathan Bowers, who is the creator of the famous Beef Notation. So basically, the Oblivion, I think, is the second largest number ever created by Jonathan Bowers, and the Utter Oblivion is the largest number ever created by him. And this famous number is probably the third largest by Jonathan Bauer. So he basically created many famous big numbers. But anyway, uh, so this video, Oblivion, what is its definition? So basically, it's the largest number defined using no more than a congulus symbols in some k congulus system. And where KN system is a complete and well-defined system of math that can be described with no more than n symbols so you can pause the video digest it a little bit or even read it yourself on the wikipedia page so this is one actually sounds kind of familiar or similar to the rails function and of course this came after rails function so some people may think this is cheating and clearly uh for people who study googleology they can we can already tell this is not well defined so it's ill-defined basically but first of all what let's see what is congulus and gongulus i guess so basically um gongulus is equal to 10 10 102 in beaf uh, which I guess can be written as a Google N10. This size is around f of omega to the omega to the omega 110. So it's pretty, pretty big, way, way, way bigger than Graham's number, but I guess smaller than 3, 3. And congulus is around x103 and 10 in beef. So it's around, I guess, something like this, 10, 3 up arrows, 110. Its size is around f of gamma, 100. So way bigger than this one, but probably still, I mean, still smaller than 3, 3. And if you have studied, if you know BEAF, it's only well-defined up to the tetrational array level since this one is pentational level, pentational array. So therefore this number is ill-defined because anything above tetrational is ill-defined. Um, and since, one of the number used to define oblivion is ill defined. So therefore this number basically you can automatically set it is ill defined. But that's just the first part. Um, but let's say if it's uh, well defined, you can already tell it's already way, way, way bigger than Rayo's number because um, both of these numbers are way, way, way bigger than a Google, not even close. And Rayo's number kind of use Google, you know, Google symbols to, def to define it. And basically what it means is like, you know, um, using this many symbols to describe a language. So I guess, you know, it's try to beat the first order set theory using, I mean, used by Rails function. And it use um, this many symbols, congular symbols. So this number of symbols in that language. So therefore, you know, it's it was claimed to be way, way, way bigger than Rayo's number, even bigger than uh, the Bigfoot or even the Little Bigoton, which uh, Jonathan Bowers uh, estimate is around somewhere using the K of 10,000 system. So clearly his number, his oblivion is way bigger than even the Little Bigoton. Um, but since Clearly, this is an ill-defined number because he doesn't even use he is his you know the definition is only ten or three lines long, so basically less than a paragraph. So everything is not defined by himself. He doesn't explain what is a k gongular system. Everything is just assumption assumption by other people, um, and you know he doesn't explain uh, what's the language is used in this system, what exactly that is. I mean, even Rayo's number, some people call it cheating, but still, Augustine Rayo, he explained it 
kind of in a separate paper so you can read that yourself but this one is only described with two sentence so clearly it's not it's too ill defined to be considered a serious number um but however if if it's well defined then it's way 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 be bigger than rails number or this even these two number so what about the utter oblivion well is basically an extension of the oblivion um, basically what this definition is uh, is the largest finite number that can be uniquely defined using no more than an oblivion symbols in some k oblivion system in some k2 blah 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 blah, blah system some k3 system some k4 system and blah, 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 oblivion system where the number oblivion can be represented with just one symbol so you can read that yourself on the wikipedia page but basically is a you can kind of say it's a naive extension of the oblivion number the reason why he created the utter oblivion is that he won uh, to create a number to be absolutely larger than bigfoot because he thought that oblivion is smaller i mean there's a chance that oblivion is smaller than bigfoot by some kind of loophole or some you know he because he wasn't quite sure what bigfoot means by the 10 in it you know and there's a chance that bigfoot could be bigger than oblivion therefore he create this number to be absolutely larger than bigfoot he just want to win i think that's the reason he create this number but since bigfoot is also ill-defined so this comparison doesn't make any sense anyway and um basically anything bigger than rail can is kind of defined this way you know the biggest number that can be created with n number of symbols in some n language and the n language the thing here is is not well defined therefore the whole thing is not well defined and even this number itself is not well uh is not well defined anyway which is being used in oblivion so anyway uh this is uh oblivion and up to oblivion um i mean both are ill-defined but even if is uh, well defined is still not the biggest uh number ever created i believe which is something called the gardens number but anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day